I received a question from a YouTube uh, viewer out there, and I want to make sure I hopefully I get his name right. Uh, o Z Z I X E uh, Oxice. I don't know if that's pronounced correctly. I'm sorry, um, but he had actually asked me uh, if I had to choose articulation on a figure, what are the must-haves of in articulation? And I thought it was a pretty good question. So much so, I figured I'd do a video response for it, and I take it to one. I take it to the next level. For those who have followed my channel, you know that uh, at one point I did something called a great debate, and the idea was that I threw a, a topic out there, and what I asked of you guys was to comment down below, uh, do video responses or, or what have you, and you tell me which you would prefer. And I only ended up doing one of them. And the great debate issue was, um, what would you rather? Uh, would you rather, uh, in an example of a DC Universe figure, would you rather a, a one mold um, used and they make lots of figures? Or would you rather have specific scale or specific mold figures, and such as what more the Marvel Legends did, but would you rather, and, and as a result, you get less figures? So same mold, lots of figures, uh, more specific molds, less figures. And um, you guys voted, you guys all participated, which was really, really cool. So let's do it again. It's time for the Great Debate. It's Great Debate 2. And in today's Great Debate, what we're going to be discussing is articulation. And uh, taking a cue, of course, from uh, OZZIXE, who, uh, who asked me this question. Um, based on, and I, I have my favorite, one of my favorite figures right now. I've got the uh, 2008 Spider-Man figure, which uh, I still like quite a bit. I really like the design of him. Um, but I'm going to use him for an example, even though he's got much more articulation than really what I'm using it for. But uh, assuming that a figure has articulation in the head. And let's just say it's a swivel articulation. It does nothing more. It's not a ball joint or anything like that. And assuming the arms are just a swivel joint where you can move the arms back and forth, you know, just back and forth, nothing else. And you have leg articulation that move back and forth. Aside from those five bits of articulation, what do you think not what I'm thinking, but what do you think is an important must-have bit of articulation on a figure? That's the question I pose to you guys here. Um, a couple of examples if you guys need some ideas. Certainly articulation in the elbow is, is a good one. Um, some might say articulation in the waist, articulation in the torso. And actually it's probably good that I'm using the Spider-Man figure because I can give you guys different examples, but uh, art, uh, articulation in the knees, or articulation in the feet. Uh, but aside really from the five points of articulation, the arms, the legs, and the head, what do you think is a must-have bit of articulation on a figure? And that's the great debate question I pose you guys. So what I'd like to see you guys do is down below post a video response or respond in a question. I'd love to see video responses of this, but in a video response or a response down below, you tell me what do you think is a must-have articulation point on the figure aside from the five standard points. So comment down below. Um, you know, feel free to, if you if you somebody posts something and says you know oh I think a mid abdomen point of articulation is a must have. You know, if you think, if you don't agree with it, maybe do a follow-up and say, well, you know, mid-torso is fine, but don't you want a, a figure to be able to bend at the knees? Or don't you want a figure to, figure to bend in the elbows or what have you? So, great debate. What is more, like, what is a must-have articulation point on a figure besides the five points uh, I've already mentioned? So, get to work, guys. Post your video responses, your comments down below. And uh, we'll have ourselves a great debate.